My name is Sanjeev, and today I'll be demonstrating an enterprise feature, test case approvals. Test case approvals give you a way to ensure that your test case repository is accurate and up to date by building an approval process into your test case design flow that you can monitor in real time. For this how-to video, I'll first be showing you how to enable test case statuses. Then I'll be walking you through an example of how to use statuses as part of a test case review and approval workflow. Here we are in our test trail enterprise instance. Let's start by enabling test case approvals for one of our projects. I'm going to scroll down here to a new project and I'm going to hit edit and I'm going to scroll down and we see enable test case approvals. Go ahead and click that and save your project. Now that we have test case approvals enabled for a project, let's take a look at how you can customize your test case statuses and assign specific user roles approval permissions. So go ahead to the administration, to customizations and case statuses. Out of the box, test shell gives you these three test case statuses, draft, review, and approved. You can edit or add remove them as necessary. You can also change which case statuses indicate a test case has been approved and which status should be the default status for a new test case. You can have multiple approved statuses, but only one default status. So I'm going to hit add case status here and you can see there is a checkbox to mark a status as approved and then also default. So after we've set our test case statuses, we want to go over into roles to specify permissions. So we'll go to users and roles and then roles. And you'll see the lead here and we'll want to give approval permissions to the lead. So go ahead and hit edit and you'll see additional permissions and you want to enable those two and save role. So, We've seen how to enable test case approvals and specify which roles can mark test cases as approved. Let's see this in practice. Let's say, for example, I was a QA lead and have assigned a test case to one of the testers on my team to design so we can test a new feature. As a tester, they'll first want to filter test case status by draft to see which test cases need to be written. And to do that, the tester will click on the filter here, go to status, and click on draft. You'll see the test cases that are set to draft status. And for this case, they will write this test case here. They would proceed to edit and fill out the test case. After the tester has written the test case, you'll want to change the status to review. And you'll notice that there is no approved status for the tester because they do not have the approval permissions. We'll assign it to the lead, Sanjeev B. And go ahead and hit save. Now, as a lead role with permissions to approve test cases, I can review the draft test case and give my teammate feedback. So to find the test case faster, I'll click on the filter again, status, but this time I'll select review. And there we see that test case that the tester has written. And then me as the QA lead would review the test case, make sure everything's good to go. You can also use the side panel to approve or return the test case back to the tester role for revision. And you can leave a comment for feedback as well. So there you have it. That is an example of the test case review and approval workflow. And next we'll be taking a look at test runs. When creating test runs in a project where test case approvals have been enabled, any test cases that aren't approved are automatically filtered out of test runs. To show you this, I'll add a test run and leave include all test cases selected and add a test run. So we'll only see approved test cases. Let's say you want to filter test cases by priority for a test run. You will add a test run and select by specific test cases change your selection and we'll select those high priority test cases 
And we will also have to use the status filter here because we are selecting specific test cases. Set your selection and there you have it. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you or you want to learn more about other topics in Test Trail, please give us a like or leave a comment below. Bye.